Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my video, and today we're going to be doing a review on this guy. And now this is the DAL Cyclone V3, the dual blade edition, the 5050. Now the dual blade edition here is the exact same as the tri blade in terms of airfoil and blade shape. Um, you know, it's the exact same. It falls with the very steep scoop in the middle here, and then quick tapering out to the end with the tip to help manage the vortexes off the end. Let's just get a quick weight on this guy here probably can't see the scale but it is 3.94 grams so not the 3.9 grams so not the lightest uh, dual blade here but it's not that bad if we take a look at some older dual blade designs from DAL this is their 5045 um, V1 the ultra bull nose one that was just insane on amps out of balance and overall not very good and then this was their V2 which sort of had a little bit more of a rounded tip a little bit better shape and this one was 3.84 grams and this one is 4.16 grams, but this is definitely a much more highly engineered prop. Similar to these two, but uh, more coming on these soon. So these V3 dual blades do come in various colors. Got the white, got the um, the crystal green, yellow, crystal blue. And now these were sent in for review from Prop City. So, um, you know, they might not stock all the colors, but there is various colors available for this, which is nice, as well as the clear editions. And now for the tests, I'll be running it on my Hyperlite Hyperfloss here with the uh, Hyperlite 2205-2522 motors here. And um, so 25 to 22 kV. And since these are a light ish dual blade prop, um, you know, this is not going to have any problem on a 2205 motor um, spinning this guy up, especially since these are really powerful, good motors. Um, the 2500 kV might actually be a little bit low because dual blade, since there's so much less um, material there, it's a lot easier for the motor to spin up. It's actually, you know, higher kV is optimal for them, maybe 26 to 2700 kV because um, for top speed runs, you want to be using a dual blade because there's actually less drag, so it lets the motor get up to a higher RPM, which equates to higher top speed in specific cases. But, um, you know, this should be pretty good for this test. The all-up weight of this quad, too, is pretty light. It's like 260 grams dry, and then, I don't know, what, like maybe 400 with the battery? I'm not sure. Actually, why don't we weigh that right here? It's 441 grams all up as you see it here. So I'll be doing a little line of sight flight just to give you guys a little impression of them and to hear how they sound because I know dual blades definitely do sound a little bit different. Then we'll do some FPV adding the GoPro on top and then I'll finish up. All right, here we got the floss with the Cyclone V3 dual blades on. I'll just, I don't know, the grass is getting pretty long here. So I'll hand launch it. There we go. So just give you a little feel for the noise of it. And the sound dual blades is a very distinctive sound. You can hear very a lot lower pitch than uh, tri blades or quad blades. I do add more blades; it goes up in pitch. are quite loud. But they're very responsive, like almost just as much as a tri-blade, if not as much. I mean, this is on a decently high KV, 2500, 22 KV, uh, light 260 gram setup, 1300 battery, so, you know, they still have great punch to them. Let's do a full punch out here. There's that, so now let's do full speed pass since dual blades are gonna be a little faster than tries probably. That was way too high, let me get it lower. You can see pretty fast. Um, not actually sure if it is any faster than um, Try blades on this quad, but um, the KV might actually be even a little low for dual blades if you're looking for max uh, max top speed. Maybe 2700 KV would be better to get the absolute performance out of these guys. But yeah, they just uh, they fly really nice. 
smooth and they accelerate quickly. Whoa, nip the grass there. Alright, that was just enough for just a quick line of sight, just to give you a little feeling of them for how they sound. So now let's take them into some FPV. Alright, here we go with the Cyclone V3 here. And I have not retuned for this guy versus the Cyclone V2 Tri-Blades, which I normally run on this guy. And I have been flying this for a couple days now, testing these Tri-Blades out. And I have my uh, freestyle rates on here, not my race rates. So, can't do that much race type stuff. But if you just look, there, there's not much prop wash in them. You can hopefully see that. Uh, because there's only two blades, the props themselves get cleaner air more often. So there actually is less prop wash. And if like, you go up to a quad blade, you'll get more prop wash because there's more disturbance in the blades. But um, these guys just seem to have a lot of get up and go. Like the top speed on them, I'm cruising, what am I, like half throttle right now? They just go. I certainly would not really recommend them for a freestyle prop. They just don't have that much grip to them. However, they are very fast. So for racing, I think that's the category that a dual blade falls the best into. There's top speed. I can't really tell if that's any faster or slower than normal. Um, but hopefully you can hear from the camera. They are very loud. That's the thing I don't like about them. Um, I am conscious of how loud I'm being. I don't like how loud they are. But that's just all dual blades in general, not really these ones. Oh, there's a bug on my leg. <sighs> They just seem, I don't know, a little looser. Um, I didn't retune once again, so I probably could raise my P's a little bit. They just seem looser compared to other tri-blades because you have less prop disc in the air. They're very fast. They definitely do have good punch on a higher KV, low weight setup. So they are no slouch for sure. 30 seconds. Oh, that and they are definitely more efficient. I don't I didn't mention that 20 yet. Seconds. Um you definitely do get a lot longer flight times. Like normally on tri blades on this setup, I'm just pushing two minutes, two and a half 10, minutes maybe. Nine. With um, eight, the tri blades. Seven, Obviously that's six, racing flying. Five, but I did some racing four, flying earlier with these three, guys. Two, I throttle the whole time. One. And um, I think I got almost four minutes, three and a half, three minutes, something like that. Uh, 30 seconds to a minute faster. So they definitely are more efficient. All right, so let's just recap and finish up on these props. They definitely are more efficient for sure. Uh, my battery, it, after I just finished that um, FV flight, uh, what is it? It's pretty warm there, but I think I got, what, three and a half minutes of flying or something like that? So they're definitely more efficient, and you can tell it's like 90 degrees out right now, and my motors aren't even warm at all. I can't hardly feel any warmth from them. And when I usually run tri-blades on these guys, they get pretty hot. I'm um, not hot, but they definitely go, do get on the edge of hot to warm. And I normally run uh, the Cyclone V2 tri-blade, which is right here. So it's a little less pitch, but it's a tri-blade. Um, but, you know, these props, they just feel a little bit loose in the air. Definitely not nearly as loose as the old style propellers, the two blades. So they definitely are a huge improvement for the two blade category. But for me, I just think overall a tri-blade feels better to me. Um, these will give you a higher top speed, but, you know, less, you know, controllability. So if you're running a track, I'd really only consider these for a race blade. Um, the tri-blade is just going to be better for a general track, but if it's a very wide open track where you don't need that much cornering um, control, these might be better for you. Or if it's a super tight track, you know, you might even need to go to a quad blade there.
They are dowels, so they are super, super durable. And especially since they're two blades, there's less to hit. Like if you hit the ground, they're just going to move out of the way like that, as you can see there. And then the arm takes all the hit. But if you look at a tri-blade here, excuse the hanging camera, <laughs> look at a tri-blade, there's no way for the prop to move that the motor hits or the arm hits. It's all prop, so you're going to smash up your tries a lot easier than the bi-blades. So the durability on these is very good. I've only crashed them about once, I think, but I haven't had to change any sets. This is the same set I've been using the whole time. I think I had a little grass stain somewhere, but yeah, right here. You won't be able to see it, though. As for a motor recommendation for these guys, um, I really don't think you need anything more than 2205 to spin these up. And if you could get these uh, 2205 in the 2700 kV version, I think that would be the absolute sweet spot for these. You would get less battery life, probably back to like a tri-blade, but the speed on that would probably be insane. So that was the end of the review for these Dowel um, Cyclone V3, the dual blades. And they're just, I don't think they're really the right prop for me. Because I fly more general flying and the courses aren't that tight. So I thought I find a tri-blade just gives me about the same speed. A little less speed, but just more control and more confidence in the air. And it's also quieter. I don't like how loud bi-blades are. But if you are looking for a dual blade for racing, I think this is definitely a very good option to consider. And it's one of the best bi-blade, if not the best, out. So that was the end of the video. Thanks once again to Prop City for sending these out. There will be a link below. Um, as usual, Dow, the prices aren't high at all. I think they're like $2.50 a set. So very competitive. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.